If you've been thinking about getting a job in the IT world, you are definitely not alone. The industry is just growing and companies have been willing to pay top dollar salaries as they look to increase their hiring of IT professionals. It is not uncommon for salaries in this industry to reach six figures or even more per year. I did a deep dive into the current tech job market to see what's available. And after a lot of research, I'm here with the top 10 highest paying IT careers in 2024. I'm going to explain each career, reveal the salaries, as well as show you how to get started to land these jobs. And for this list, I did also consider things like competition and future proofing jobs. So we're going to see how that plays a role as well. Drop a like and subscribe if you appreciate content like this. And let's begin. So the first one is going to be the data security analyst. And when it comes to protecting sensitive data as it kind of travels through a network, one of the most important roles a company can fill is going to be the data security analyst. And while they don't directly implement security protocols themselves, they play an important role in any company. It's their job to constantly analyze different methods, study them, and find out where they could use some improvement, and then work in tandem with other IT professionals to continuously improve them while keeping a record of what's been accomplished. And for this job, you will definitely need to have some patience and incredible attention to detail and also be able to work as part of a team. And you can expect an average salary of around 71,000 per year, but you can also make a lot more. And I'm starting with this one because the barrier to entry is not as high as some of the other ones on the list. And I think those things are important to consider as well, in addition to salaries. Now, if you're currently learning coding languages like HTML, JavaScript, and CSS, you might be a perfect fit for the web developer role, which is gonna be up next. Now, I need to emphasize that there is gonna be a lot of competition for this one, but I still wanna highlight it because it's very popular and a lot of people are concerned considering becoming web developers. Now, basically what you'll do is that you'll create and maintain websites that are visually appealing, functional and easy to navigate and they have all the functions that they should have. And while most of a web developer's time is spent typing and staring at different lines of code, they do need to have a decent, you know, people skills in order to meet with clients and understand the requirements and to be able to get everything done and just communicate in general. And just about everyone from big corporations to small businesses to individuals like freelancers benefit from having an excellent website. And it's in fact estimated that new website is built every three seconds. And that means that web developers are always in high demand and are always well paid. Now, competition wise, yes, there's still a lot of competition, but there's also a lot of demand for these jobs. It's just the competition that's the problem. They can expect a salary between around 80,000 to 106,000 with an average salary of 92,000 per year. And of course, a lot more depending on who you work for and where you work. So we're going to move on to a completely different area. And companies big and small across several industries have a growing need for strong and secure, most importantly, infrastructure. And that's exactly where a network engineer will come into play. These IT professionals are responsible for designing, deploying and managing networks that are able to stand up to the daily non-stop flow of data. And also because the networking landscape is always evolving and upgrading, network engineer salaries reflect the need for individuals who stay on the bleeding edge of technology and different techniques. And if you're looking to master these skills, you can land a job as a network engineer and you can expect salaries from around 84,000 to 102,000 per year or more, of course, if you're more senior with an average salary of around 92,000 per year as well. Now, the next one is called ERP consultant, and it's probably something that you haven't even heard about. And the fact is that large organizations and occasionally medium sized businesses use something called enterprise resource planning software to manage everything from their supply chain operations to project management and accounting. And ERP is basically the backbone of any company that uses it, and they need someone to maintain that software. So enter the ERP consultant. And these IT professionals handle the analysis of business needs, the training of the staff, and the kind of implementation of the ERP software overall. They then stay on to provide technical assistance when it's needed, and they develop different strategies for those ERP solutions as the need arises. And for their experience, ERP consultants can expect a salary of around 99,000 per year, of course, lower or higher, but it's always an issue when you're providing estimates because it really, really depends and it's so hard to give you a perfect estimate. The next one is going to be very interesting and very important today, perhaps more than ever. Humans tend to enjoy and spend more time with apps that are functional as they are stylish. And the people that create those apps that are very functional and stylish are called front-end UI developers. 
Just as the title suggests, a front-end UI developer creates the user interface of apps and websites, and it's their job to make sure that whatever they're working on is going to be easy to understand and navigate by following basic design principles as well as their own artistic drive. And these developers typically need to have the knowledge of, you know, some basic programming skills, but they're also kind of combining it with the artistic side. And a front-end UI developer can make around 100000 per year with the average salary around that range or a lot more depending on where you work at. Now, next up, it's going to be a very critical role as well. And when something goes wrong with a piece of technology or software, the last line of defense is the IT help desk. These are kind of the knights in shining armor who research and troubleshoot and fix things and walk through the implementation of the solutions. And they're the top dog responsible for making sure that all of this happens as seamlessly as possible. And that's going to be the IT help desk manager. Among the responsibilities of an IT help desk manager is the organization and education of help desk staff, which are basically the support people and making sure that everyone is trained up and that they're up to speed and ready to help people. Now for IT help desk manager role, you will need to have all the skills of a professional customer service agent, advanced knowledge of the processes and different systems that they work with, and occasionally the patience of a good babysitter. And for all that, an IT help desk manager can expect a salary of around 100 to around 127,000 per year, with the average being around 113,000 per year. The next one is going to be focusing on data and data is more than a buzzword these days and it kind of lies at the center of just about every decision made by every company nowadays. But it takes a special kind of person to make all of that data useful and for that a business needs a data scientist. Data scientists can have a lot of different responsibilities and it's hard to summarize it in just one sentence, but basically they make data useful for companies and they can do a lot of different tasks more towards data analytics or more towards machine learning, depending on what things they need to do to make sure that they can do their work. And companies need people like this to keep up in multiple competitive industries. So data scientists can expect a salary between around 108,000 to way, way, way above that, depending on where you go. And the next one is the IT product manager. Now, all companies need someone to short a course to success for their products and for their services. And that responsibility falls on the shoulders of the IT project managers. I might have said project managers, but I meant product managers. And they basically sit down with their companies to analyze their products, their pipelines and their objectives and use that data to create customized strategic plans and roadmaps for them to act on. And their knowledge of product management and market analysis makes IT product managers pros at driving the success of a product forward. But they also oversee development and, you know, they try to collaborate with multiple teams to ensure that success. And that is a lot of responsibility for one person. And that's why they, of course, work in a team. But companies are willing to pay IT product managers very well with an average salary of around 126000 per year. Now, the next one is going to be the cybersecurity engineer and cyber is becoming more and more important as cyber threats and corporate hacking become more common to protect their interests. All businesses are on the hunt for cybersecurity engineers. And the primary responsibility of a cybersecurity engineer is to design and develop secure software solutions for the company. But they're also kind of known for stepping in to identify vulnerabilities in existing systems and recommending ways to fix them. And a cybersecurity engineer should have extensive knowledge of networks, computer systems, and how they operate in order to carry out their work efficiently, because you need to understand the underlying systems to be able to protect them and to be able to work with them, right? And for this incredibly high demand role, you can earn around 134,000 per year on average. And because cybersecurity engineers are such high demand, it is possible to get a job in cyber without a degree. Now, I do want to say that the competition is going to be fierce and you are competing with very highly skilled people, but it's still a great opportunity. And yes, you can even do it without a degree. There are a lot of different boot camps and some of them are just kind of over promising. So it just depends on being able to filter through and pick the right course. And I'm also covering some other videos on that later. And the next one is going to be focusing more on a director or manager role. And this is a big one because when it comes to determining the IT needs of large businesses across many departments, all of the, you know, the major decisions are handled by an IT director, which is a very important role. And this role basically researches, implements and manages IT equipment along with its associated software and also plans and administers the policies and goals of the IT department as a whole. 
And this is kind of a head of operation style position and the pay reflects the immense value of the role. The average salary is actually around 200,000 per year. So yes, it's gonna be a pretty hard role to attain and to get to and it's gonna be very competitive and also highly you know, stressful, but it's still one of the highest paying roles and I wanted to mention it. There are a lot of great courses, affordable courses to help you get started with these jobs. And I actually made a video talking about the best certificates that you can get pretty much for free or for a very low cost. And you can check out this video somewhere on the screen. It got a lot of positive feedback and a lot of views. So I think you would like it and I'll see you over there.